Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you a simple development workflow that you can use to develop your own game engine. So let's do this. If we haven't met, my name is Jairo Serrano and I developed a 3D game engine. And I'm here to share with you everything that I know about game engine development. And today I'm going to share with you that development uh, workflow that I use to implement the several components of my game engine. So without further ado, let me share them with you. So the first step is to always follow your curiosity. I'm sure there is that video game that you have played that uh, made you curious to know how video games work. Probably you became interested in knowing more about how a physics engine works or how uh, an artificial system uh, in a game makes the characters move around uh, randomly. Uh, the same thing happens with me. So what I do to get ideas to implement for my game engine is to play video games. Usually I start playing them and within a couple of minutes uh, something catches my attention and I start thinking about how the developers or the engineers uh, implemented such a feature. So what I do next is to uh, research. I go online and I read a bunch of articles on how such component or feature uh, can be implemented in a game engine and how does it work. I read a lot uh, and if I cannot find enough information online, I usually uh, buy books. Uh, and I have bought a lot of books on game engine development. And then I spend my days, uh, weeks, reading and reading and figuring out how things work. But one of the things that I do uh, in this uh, during the research phase is also to make sure that I visualize the concept. You have no idea how important it is for you to visualize the, what you are uh, learning, uh, how to visualize a particular algorithm or a particular problem. Believe me, when it comes to game engine development, you do not want to rush uh, into understanding a particular concept. You want to slow down uh, and really digest the whole concept and somehow visualize what you are learning. Because if you can visualize the problem, you can find a solution for it. The next step in the development workflow is to basically get your 3D game characters ready. Usually what I do is I get a couple of our uh, game characters uh, that I know I'm going to use uh, and um, I try to make the whole game seem as simple as possible. If I don't need a particular model, I just remove it from the scene. I try to go as minimalistic as possible as I can. And once you have your 3D game characters ready, the real fun begins. This is the time where you actually will start doing some actual work, some programming. And for this phase in the workflow, I have some tips for you and I hope you actually uh, make good use of them. Tip number one is this, programming is thinking, not typing. So before you open up your laptop, uh, do yourself a favor and try to visualize the concept uh, beforehand. Do not open up your laptop, do not start uh, programming without having any idea whatsoever what you are about to uh, implement. That is the worst thing that you can do. You may think that putting aside some time to visualize the problem uh, is going to waste your time. Actually, it will not. It's going to help you save some time. The second tip that I want to share with you is to be creative. Uh, game engine development gives you the freedom to explore, to really uh, figure out how things work. But not only that, it also gives you the freedom for you to implement a particular component the way that you think should be done. So do not take what is in a book as the gospel. Um, don't do that. Yes, read them. Yes, uh, use them as a reference. But in the end, when you're in front of your computer, use that time to be creative. You do you. Um, implement a particular feature the way that you think it should be implemented, not how someone told you, not how someone uh, posted on a website. Don't do that. Don't, do not just copy and paste code. If you need to uh, review someone's code, uh, go for it, uh, review it, understand it. Um, you know, try to uh, analyze what the particular uh, developer was doing. But at the end of the day, uh, don't just copy and paste the code. 
expand from that, um, make it better, improve it. You know, you do you, uh, be creative through code. That's why we are here. That's why you are a developer. That's why you are an engineer. Um, even if you don't have a particular diploma, that doesn't matter. The whole point is this, um, be creative through code. And the final stage in the whole workflow is to do something that we all hate to do. Believe me, I hate it so much. And that is to document your uh, your game engine. You have to uh, write documentation for it. I know it's boring. I know it's something that we uh, postpone as much as possible, but it is very important. It is as important as your game engine. Do not ignore this step because eventually your game engine is going to become very complex and it's going to have a lot of functions and you are going to forget how to use them. Uh, believe me, I have forgotten how to use my own classes, my own functions, even when I have written documentation for them. So do yourself a favor and write documentation for your game engine. I know it's boring, but it has to be done. Uh, all right, guys, uh, I guess this is it. This is the simple workflow that I use to develop the components in my game engine. I start out by following my curiosity. Uh, then I do some research by reading a bunch of articles and books. And I also try to visualize what I'm learning once I'm ready uh, with the visualization, I go on and I start preparing the whole game scene that I'm going to use uh, during the development of that particular component. And then I go, I start, you know, really working, uh, really implementing the whole, the whole, the whole feature. But before, um, you know, opening up my my laptop, I, I I really try to have a really good understanding of the whole problem. And once I'm done with that, I document the whole. Uh, the whole component and I repeat the whole process every time I want to implement a new a new component in my game engine all right guys uh, I hope again that this was helpful uh, if you want to uh, check out other videos on game engine development I'm gonna post some of them right here uh, so feel free uh, to check them out if you haven't subscribed to my uh, channel please do so um, I only talk about game engine development. I'm here to help you develop your own game engine. So this is your channel. Uh, all right, guys, I'll see you next time and take care.